So here we have a eight, two, eight foot, two inches by nine foot, basically like a dock door. But this is a 2411, now this is commercial. Um, so it's got the reverse, the track can be different depending on how you kind of order it. But with 2411, you can see it's kind of got the glued in styles, you know. They're a pretty decent door. You know, you got your bottom seal here. They're kind of a, a generic door that we use. It kind of gets the job done. I do get a little concerned about wind on these. I've had one blow in before with wind here in Michigan. So <clears throat> this only being eight foot wide, I'm not so concerned. Uh, but you start getting sometimes in the nine to 10 area. I believe it was a 10 by 10. I had a 10 by 10 blow in. And so like this door right here is on the west side. So this would be the high wind side. But for the most part, you know, you can order them all different ways with the track, the high lift. We call this the high lift that goes up. They're not a bad door. I noticed on these ones, <clears throat> excuse me, they got the clip mount seal we put on. But I noticed they kind of got a tin can look to them a little bit. And it seems like it's a little more prevalent than I remember in the past. But you probably won't see it on this one because the sun's blazing. And what I mean by the tin can is called an oiling effect where the panel kind of has a wave to it. So you can order these in 24, was it 2415, I believe? And the 2415 is just a heavier gauge steel. Let's take a see if we can see on this front one. <clears throat> they got the deep ribs in them. Mm, you can kind of see it. If you can kind of see, there's a little bit of waves in it. It's not horrible by any means, but it's just because of the thickness of the steel. So you got the deep ribs. You know, two of these deep ribs per section. Overall, not a bad door though. They get the job done. They're kind of a cheaper, cheaper way to go. Wow. Got standard hinges in them. You know, the hinges are fine. The rollers, you know, just metal rollers. Not a bad door. Not a bad door if you need something not insulated just to plug a hole. I really don't think there's too much weak links on them. They're pretty, really basic, simple. You know, they got a top header seal. A little rubber seal up there at the top. Keeps everything uh, sealed up for you. I'll show you. <clears throat> I got your rubber up here. Help keep some of the weather out. So, if you need kind of a cheap door, non-insulated, 2411, you know, it does the job. I've used them for years, and I like them. I'd say they do a pretty good job. You know, I know the 2415 though is a little bit heavier duty. So if you're looking for something a little more stout, I mean, these almost feel like uh, if somebody wanted to kick them hard enough a couple times and try to pierce them, they could probably get in somewhat easy. I mean, they're still probably gonna get cut up and messed up themselves, but they just, they have that feel to them that they're just a little bit like a pop can. You know, it ain't, uh, it ain't like a coffee can. You know, a coffee can to a pop can, I'm talking about the old school coffee cans that used to be metal you know those ones just feel solid where a pop can just feels real crumbly but otherwise 2411 they do good i'm pretty happy with them so thanks wayne dalton thanks for doing a good job and keeping us supplied see you guys on the next one